starting principle is sketch it out before. Before you sit down with your computer, before you start doing that thing, the thing you do in PowerPoint, like adding clip arts, writing a huge list of bullet points, you actually sketch it out visually what is that that you want to present there. Once you have that, you can start figuring out, aha, uh -huh, uh, especially if you wrote this in sticky notes, you can rearrange this. This visual is best used to reinforce a certain message within the script. Once you storyboard it, you have that script. Only then do you sit down with a be that PowerPoint or any other program. Only then do you do this. Do you start actually implementing this. And ideally, you would ask, ask a, a creative, a, a designer to do it for you. But if you do it yourself, you need to know that at least takes 16 hours to, to spend on those visuals because they will impact your credibility heavily. Will the people get distracted what you have on, on the visuals, present on the visuals? Uh, there, there's, let's say you have 60 slides. You have to, 60 slides and they're all, essentially you fill in that standard space. You fill in that standard space that PowerPoint gives. That will be, uh, that will be essentially like around like 240 words, or like characters or so, that you can fill in there, and that will that will basically uh, mean that the people will be reading your presentations, your slides, one further, the, one further of the, during of, of the of the presentation. Let's say like it's going to take 40 minutes for you to go for those 60 slides, and one third of that, 13 uh, 13 minutes or so, is just going to go for them trying to read the text and not listening to you. So you lost them from one third of the presentation. But if you spend that time crafting those beautiful visuals, don't, don't con go in conflict with your message. This is where you can actually uh, maximize the time they're listening to you and they get what you're saying.